Are you going to take the red pill or the blue pill? Fortunately, no one can be told what the Matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. Come with me. You take the blue pill. You wake up, the story ends. You believe whatever you want to. You take the red pill. I'll take you to Wonderland and show you just how far down the rabbit hole goes. Remember, all I am offering you is the truth, nothing else. If you dare to take the red pill, like in The Matrix, to see how society and social constructs are perhaps just a lie, Amsterdam is just the place to do it. This place prides themselves on their extremely liberal and tolerant attitude. And things can get really weird really fast. It's just part of the culture. And if you choose to go down the rabbit hole, you might end up in one of the city's famous coffee shops. So many people getting coffee at 8.30 at night at these coffee shops. I don't know what's going on. The Bulldog in Amsterdam. Coffee shops in Amsterdam, it's not coffee. It's, um, well, how do we say this? It's green. It's cannabis. It's weed. Back in the 70s, before it was legal here, they called them coffee shops as a cover name, and it kind of just stuck. It is. I can oh, yeah. smell it in there. Amsterdam is this interesting dichotomy between this amazing, rich history and this crazy, wild coffee shop's red light district. And it's so interesting how it's intertwined together and it works and it's just such a unique place. Amsterdam is a beautiful and progressive place of contrast. It's in the Dutch province of North Holland, known as the Venice of the North for all of the canals. It's the summer solstice today, so it's the longest day of the year. It's 9.38 p.m. and the sun is up like this still. It's an architecturally stunning place, and the houses all actually have to be built on wooden poles or else they would sink into the ground. They're famous for their tulip fields, which is something they remind you of right when you enter the airport, which is the third biggest in Europe. I planned it so that we would have a long layover in Amsterdam. When we first got there, there was like tulips everywhere. It's the Schiphol Airport, and it is the best airport. Colorful, clean. I wanted us to fly the, the flagship Dutch airline, which is KLM, and it's all like Dutch themed, like the blue Dutch pattern. Really affordable airline. And you feel like you're in Amsterdam before you even get there. Cycling is the main mode of transportation, a very bike-friendly city, but just make sure to stay in your lane. They have the perfect posture when they ride their bikes. Everybody rides a bike there, and they're all on these bikes, like, perfectly in line. I was running into them, so they have a very neat system that they go throughout, so make sure to just get the heck out of their way. And if you work up an appetite, there's many munchy stations around town. Fruit waffle. It's like a hard waffle, very thin with caramel inside, and they're delicious. They had these french fry stands where you can just get a thing of french fries and you put sauce on them. We got one with like garlic and like sweet chili. We were eating the whole time. Everybody you ask there, what is your favorite Dutch restaurant? Let's eat some sausage and, uh, and pancakes. They said, uh, hard pass on, on actual Dutch food. So that's why we went for Thai. Had Thai with chicken, our first chicken in, in weeks that tastes like real chicken. Most excitingly, Amsterdam is the celebrated gay capital of Europe. The Netherlands was the first country in the world to legalize same-sex marriage back in 2001. Happy Pride! Come the red lights. And most famously, the Red Light District, where you can visit a sex worker. But please respect them, pay your taxes, and don't leave their window. 
pretty fascinating, even coming from me. I mean, I'm from Las Vegas. Strip clubs on every corner. Here, they take it the next level. If you don't know, the red light district is actually a neighborhood in Amsterdam. It's completely legal. These beautiful prostitutes, they stand in these windows, lit up in red lights like they're advertising themselves, but they are unionized. They're part of what's called a red thread, which is the red light district union so they are protected they pay taxes it's a complete career i heard that even if they contract a disease they'll get subsidized housing they're kind of like you know what let's not put any uh, stigma around anything here let's make it safe and so that's what i guess what they're doing with the coffee shops and i'm gonna get arrested from this video as i mentioned amsterdam is truly a city of contrast where you can also visit heartbreaking places of history Places like the Anne Frank Museum, her actual hiding place during World War II. Otto Frank, her dad, was the only one that survived, and he actually found her diary, and uh, he promised that he would never read it, which I thought was so sweet because my parents read my diary. But um, being so young and being so profound in her writing and, and so human, my favorite quote from her is, in spite of everything, I still believe that people are really good at heart. After everything you've been through, you still believe people are good at heart? A million people a year go here. The profound impact that she has had is just so beautiful. In so many ways, this place truly opened my mind to a different way of thinking. And seeing beautiful yet heartbreaking places like these are little reminders to be grateful of everything we have back at home. We're going to ask the person here at the window if they know what a coffee shop is. Craving some real Dutch coffee since I haven't gotten any even after coming back from Amsterdam didn't get any coffee from a coffee shop so let's try this out here all right I'm nervous oh god hi I have a really important question have you been to Amsterdam before Amsterdam yes oh my god actually yeah do you know what a coffee shop is in Amsterdam Oh, yeah, I know coffee's really big there, right? Yeah, but, okay, so you go to a coffee shop and it's weed. Oh, really? So I'm glad to get real Dutch coffee. Okay, what's your okay. favorite thing here? Golden Eagle. That sounds perfect. Okay, so Can I get it decaf, actually, because I've had a coffee and I'm shaking? Oh, that's okay. No, you're good. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look how sweet this is. He said, I hope you like it, Jared. I love you, Jared. I mean, that message is, uh, who does that? Jared didn't know, none of them knew at the window that coffee shops in Amsterdam are not real coffee shops. My mind is blown. Maybe I'll start like a Dutch Bros coffee chain, open up like a franchise there because you need some coffee, gosh darn it. This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. 